Ooh, hello, hello, hello. We are uh, the Perfects. We are four out of our cast of eight. We rotate every week, get enough of us together, and we're going to do some goofy, uh, some fun short uh, form games. And we're going to end with kind of a longer form game, depending on how time goes. So we got a, a suggestion already. That was what games are we doing? What games are we, we doing, Steve? We, the, well, the first game we're going to do is a game called Gibberish, where two people are on screen speaking nonsense and doing ridiculous physical moves. And the other two people are off the screen carrying on a scene. Uh, so we're going to do that for a little while. Um, and, and then we're going to oh, and then we're going to do uh, the voice of God. The voice of God called me. <laughs> Hello. Then we're going to do podcasts where Paul is going to be running a podcast and the rest of us are crazy, bizarre people who he wants to talk to. And then when that's done, we'll, we'll uh, keep using the word hippopotamus and we'll start out doing uh, basically a chain of two person scenes. We call that a daisy chain just for the hell of it. Why not? So that should uh, take us to uh, just before the top of the hour. And uh, we'll wait to get yanked off with the hook uh, or the scream or the yell or whatever. Something we'll get, we'll get from the host and that'll tell us that we're <laughs> done. So with that, we're ready for uh, gibberish. And I'm Lord. going off camera. Thank you, Lord. Wop, 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 wop. So <clears throat> I see that you have gotten all three of my emails that I sent you about this hippopotamus that has landed in my yard. Zaba zaba zuba zibi zaba zaba. Hmm. Uh, is it the uh, pygmy hippopotamus? The actual African hippopotamus? The uh, Lithuanian hippopotamus? I need some more details. What? What? Woo! 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 Boo! It is the kind that leap. Oh my God! Zuba zub, zuba 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 zuba. It sounds like not only can he uh, leap and hop. But he uh, drives his own uh, his own uh, SUV. He's a SUV driving, leaping hippopotamus. Wow. I've decided that the train is a lot more safe than the hippopotamus driving SUVs. Oh, Zoba, 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 Zoba. You are so right about that. The, the SUV driving hippopotamus is a menace. He's scary. He's scary. Are you afraid of the hippopotamus? I'm angry. I'm so angry. I had to type out this letter to the local senator. He's got to ban everything having to do with them. You are breaking my heart. Babies love hippopotamuses. That's what makes them laugh. They laugh. They laugh. They love the hippopotamus. Don't ban them, please. Stiffen up your spine. Wah, wah, bon, boom, loom, ding. Well, everyone else can want one for Christmas, but I want that one over there to stay right over there. Over there, that one, I can do that. Oh, oh. 
If you do that, I will love you forever. Zaba 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 zoba zaba zubu zaba zaba. Feel my heart. Feel my heart. It's beating like an elephant. I have decided this interpretive dance will fully show my feelings. <laughs> zaba, 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 zaba. You know, I love your interpretive dance. I would clap along, but I don't, I don't have good rhythm. Boop, boop, bip, bop. Shippa, 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 shippa. I use a cream to make this it come easier. Zaba 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 zaba. I'm the kind of person who loves a good cream. It's meant for spot treatments and warming up your vocal cords. Oh, zaba zaba zuba zaba zuba zuba zuba. I just want to clear clear, clear my throat. <clears throat> Can I have? Some of the cream for my areola. Well, it's not meant to be ingested orally, but you know, you do you. I personally think it'll make you hit all the high notes. Zuba zuba, zaba zaba zaba, zub zub. You help me sing those high notes. I'll love you forever. Hmm. Eco Zippo Papo. Well, if you hit the high notes, then who who else will I love? Is it the hippopotamus or you? Zuba, 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 zuba. You're making me fall in love with you. You're making me fall in love with you. I know you're going to love me. And see. <laughs> <laughs> All right, a love scene after all it started off with uh, with the hippo, but um, I guess they have romantic powers, you know, how that is. So, um, all righty, wonderful. Um, <clears throat> that was our version of gibberish. Uh, the next thing up we're going to play is called podcast. And Paul is going to use the same word to uh, play the host of the podcast. And the rest of us will join the scene. Disappear as quickly on, as possible. Depending on how Paul plays us. Good morning, everyone in Wisconsin. This is Jerry Bacon calling from our first podcast in the new series called Bacon in the Morning. So I know we just started, but we do have a couple treats for you all today. First, let's welcome one of our number one Wisconsinites here with us this morning. Why don't you go ahead and introduce yourself? Oh, howdy there. I'm Miss Maybell Jean, and I'm your local Dairy Queen. I've been winning the title for three years running. Fantastic. So happy to see you. Should I call you Miss Queen or maybe like... 
that'll be fine. You got to address Lady by, you know, her crown. Great. Fantastic. I see the, the, the crown. And as I understand it, last year you won on a very, 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 very special way. So how exactly was that? And tell our listeners exactly what that contest was. Well, they decided to add in cow wrangling that year. And, um, well, I had a bit of an edge because, you know, I have a cousin from Texas. So they taught me all the ins and outs of, you know, the bull riding and to lasso them. And, you know, he owed me a few favors if you t- get my drift there. And I decided that that's going to be my new talent. And you know what? One thing led to another and it, it just became a thing. Oh my gosh. Okay. Yes. Um, it, by, by favors, uh, exchanging money for prize. Is this, uh, um, he, he has a bit of a cheese problem. Okay. So, um, from what I understand, my uncle might've traded him a couple of wheels of brie to, to, to make some things happen. Yes. But so, that's, you know, not everybody knows that one. Yes. I mean, uh, Miss Queen, I understand your uncle. Um, I know he was on the run, uh, cause you know, this is live and all, but we do have him here. We were able to hold him and if you don't mind, uh, he's here on the line, ready to discuss his part of the story. So, well, I, <laughs> I just, uh, I just have to say, I, she won on her own merits. I mean, look at her. Her, her face looks like a cheese wheel. It's got, uh, it's got uh, indentations. It's got uh, smooth parts. It's got rough parts. Um, it's, uh, it's round, very round, very natural talents, uh, what she used, uh, there were no favors, um, uh, publicly traded. Sorry, um, sir, or can I just call you uncle? I never had an uncle. Is it okay if I just also call you my uncle? Uncle? Yes, in Wisconsin, my problem, I could be your uncle. Great. Well, thanks, uncle. Uh, yeah, so I understand, um, so... Everyone's, most faces have indents, uh, but let's go back to why exactly you uh, traded in this brie of cheese to get Miss Queen to win that dairy contest. Um, what were your reasons for this? Well, to be, uh, to be perfectly honest with you, I, I had some people who were looking for some very special brie, fermented, aged, you know, that stuff stinks. It stinks. That's not, it's not, that's not, no self-respecting Wisconsin native would ever catch himself dead eating brie. That was strictly a backroom transaction to get me a big hunk of cheddar. Uh, sorry, uh, do you mean that in the literal sense or literally um, money? I'm or- just going to say literally money. Oh, yeah. okay. Sorry, sorry. It's just, you know, in Wisconsin. when And cheddar. Uncle. Just, I got to think of some is. cheese curds and cash money. Okay. Yes, yes. I'm no fool, boy. You, I, you I, aren't mocking me, are you? Are, no, I am not. Uh, you are my... And we're just going to cut really quick to our advertisement. Uh, I sense my uncle getting a little... So uh, we do have a very special advertisement here um, from the company themselves. We do have a spokesperson here for our podcast advertisement. So um, why don't you go ahead and the floor is yours. I'm Bree Goodabottom. And I'm here to invite you down to the Red Dairy Barn, where we have brie, we have cheddar, we have gouda on the bottom. Wisconsin made. It's been, and I understand you have like a jingle that you wanted to also say. It was like quite a nice, nice rhyme, but feel free to use it. I don't know exactly how your company likes to advertise, but um, what was it? Red Dairy Barn. Tugs at my heartstrings like yarn. Yep. It's so catchy. It's so catchy. So we're going to renovate it, you know, add auto tune and all that stuff, add a nice uh, backing track. Uh, fantastic. Well, uh, where can we get more information? Oh, at goodabottom.com. Great. And uh, sorry, uh, are you Miss uh, Goodabottom? I'm you... Bree Goodabottom of yep. the Goodabottoms of Hinkle Stein, Wisconsin. Great. I, I do apologize. We just had two guests that really bad mouth Brie. Um, I hope you don't mind that you're also on the same program. Um, we have well, Uncle that, here. If you like, if you like, that's hurtful. Why would you? Why Ms. would Queen, you? Um, Mabel Queen. She had just won. 
That's a, it's a it's a perfectly it's a that French is a name. bald faced lie. Okay, we love Brie and my family. Why else would we trade in wheels of cheese just for rope wrangling skills for the cows? My understanding is your uncle wanted cheddar instead of Brie. Uh, Hell yes. Yes, and I'm sorry, Miss Gudabottom. Sorry, I'm Gudabottom. Um, Brie. Her, her first name's Brie. Brie. Like Bri- like Brianna the cheese. Gudabottom. It happens. To I know it's her. It's Brie. It's Brie, like the cheese. What are you? What? What? What kind of? What kind of foreign influence are you trying to introduce into Wisconsin? We just we like a cheddar. With cheddar stacked on top, with melted cheddar in a bowl, covered in cheddar. Healthy. Brie, we have produced brie cheese since 1865. It's just as American as cheddar or gouda on my bottom, sir. And again, we have to separate for this podcast what's literal and what's not literal. Uh, Miss Gouda, is that literal? That was more of a metaphor. Okay, sorry. That's just for our listeners. Uh, Uncle, you were saying? Well, I mean, if it was literal, that would be totally different. But if we're going with metaphors, <laughs> well, get all fancy. No, literally, literally cheddar is the superior cheese. I know. Come on. Tell me. Tell me you're with me here. Go. Uncle, he's been drinking some of the whey. You get my drift? Well, okay. I, I love my name. It's beautiful. And, and who doesn't like a brie before dinner? You know, brie with little walnuts on it, little toasted walnuts on a, mm, on a crisp rye cracker. cracker. Mm. But yeah, I got to say my, my heart does belong to the cheddar, the cheddar, the, the little corner of the red barn with the cheddar wheels. I, I am a cheddar gal. I am. My name is Brie, but who would name your daughter Cheddar? I mean, that's crazy. You also have Gouda in your name, and you were just advertising for your company. Uh, I think Brie and Gouda. Well, that's cheese. our family name, Gouda Bottom. Yeah, I mean, it's it's, it's German. Been, Everyone's yeah. German in in Wisconsin. We all have unusual names. I probably should have oh. mentioned that that my um my original family name when we came over from Germany was um Cheddarass. Cheddar ass. With yeah. two, two D's? Two D's, two S's. Cheddar the, ass. The, with the umlaut? Umlauts on the A. Oh, yeah. Cheddar ass. Oh, we may be related. He's my uncle, too. So this is interesting. Yes. Wait, how can he be your uncle? He's a cheddar ass. Oh, next family reunion is going to be real intense. Well, oh, yeah, man. I'll see you all there. It looks like we're running out of time, but I'll see the three of you uh, at the family reunion. So this is fantastic. Um, or the Red Barn. At the Red Barn, we'll sorry. Where we'll tug at your heartstrings like yarn. yarn. Yeah, that's Come on I'll bring the rope to the gotcha. Red, <laughs> Red <laughs> Barn. Well, that's all of our time. So thanks for listening. This has been Jerry Bacon in better. the morning. Take care, everyone. Better. Ah, I always love a scene that involves cheese. Could never go wrong with cheese. Um, okay, so the next thing we're going to do is a few minutes of uh, what we call daisy chain, two-person scenes, starting off with the uh, word of hippopotamus. So uh, we'll go off, and there, whichever first two come on, get down to business, and then we just kind of go from there. Oh, with, with our cuts. Well, cheese. <laughs> mm, you got the cheddar? Yes, I do. Uh, here, let me get some of that. How much did you order? Uh, I think I got three wheels. I uh, have a bit of a problem. Okay, yeah. Here it is. Here's one wheel. Mm. Two wheels. Good stuff. Um, I've been doing a customer service survey and um you know since this is under the table what are you going to be using your cheddar for uh well gotta tell you that jello wrestling is is out so cheese wrestling is now in cheese wrestling and um you know whatever i don't finish i i I throw in a kiddie pool out back and you know i charge the locals some time to wrestle in there that's it's, it's fantastic um i'm actually looking for a second job I know, you know, you, you always go to the store. Um, 
Are you looking for another wrestler? How does this work? It depends on uh, how much ch extra cheese you can provide. Oh, I can bring the cheddar. Um, literally, I will bring the cheddar. Some of that that you have, I got truckloads more. Mm. But do you also have access to some Havarti? Let's see, Havarti, Havarti. Let's see. Oh, yep. Yeah. It's, it's up there. Take out Paul. Cut to the backyard. Mom! Mom! I went into the waiting pool where all the cheddar is. And now there's cheddar stuck in my pits. Mom, get it out. Get it out. Jeez, come on, Mom. Son, I told you not to jump in there. Every single time you go in there, you always end up with cheese in all the places that you never like to scrub. I mean, there's a difference between toe cheese and real cheese and extra cheese. Yeah, well, you put it out there. What else am I going to do? It's an attractive nuisance, and I just got to dive on into the cheese. It's the only way I have friends in this neighborhood. Get it out. Get it out. Just because it's there doesn't mean you should put your face in it or much less your body in it, hon. Well, that, but that's what all the big people do after I go to bed. You have to, the cheese wrestling, wrangling, wrestling. But wrestling. I charge them to do that. And they want to do that. You, you're just... I wouldn't just bother about letting you near the cheeses. Take out, take out Amy. Stay in the backyard. I'm here for the uh, cheese wrestling. Oh, I got my uh, spandex and shapewear on. I'm gonna. I'm a. I'm ready. Oh, are you El Queso Loco? Oh, you're you're right on time. Yeah, you know it. Yes. Yeah. 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 I. 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 Um. I. I. I would like to request uh, that I wrestle um, a, uh, a someone I can easily defeat. I don't want to. I don't want to. I don't want to strain. I want to just glide to victory. And slide on the cheese. I, I think you're. I think you're thinking of the slip and slide cheese, not the the, the cheese wrestling. Um, oh, wait. Yeah. I, I mean, did you get the special invitation? Because I, I on, on specifically on the invitation, it says cheese wrestling is at seven. I'm here for. I'm here for the warm up. I'm here for my. I'm. What? What? Will you consider tutoring me? Well, I'll, I'll be honest with you. I'm, I'm not very good at this. Usually I'm just the promoter, but <clears throat> I, I'll tell you what, I'll tell you what. If you can find some special cheese, some special cheese, I'll, I'll let you into the ring, get, get you some extra ring time. Okay, all right. I, I, you just tell me what you need. I, I, I'm sure I, I in, in, my, in my truck, I'll back up. I, I got some extra, I got cheese wheels like you won't believe. Come on, I gotta wrestle. Peg out Amanda. <laughs> to Steve's house three hours earlier. Are you wearing my Spanx? It is shapewear, shapewear, cheese. Yeah, I know what it is. And it's pink, which tells me it's from my drawer. Yes, it is from my drawer. Where are you going? Jesus Christ. In my how shapewear. How do you wear this? Oh my God, how do you wear this stuff? I'm gonna, I'm gonna die. <laughs> Oh, don't be such a wuss. Son of a it's just spandex. And you're going to stretch it out. And you, sir, are replacing it. Because it's all stretched out on that beer gut of yours. And what? Oh, geez. Why are you wearing it? I'm going to be a, a cheese wrestler. Really, wrestler with cheese. Not cheese wrestler. Wrestler with cheese. Tag out, Steve. Cut to Amy's sister's house. Hey, it's so great to see you. It's been so long since we've caught up. Bethy, Bethy. It, it's this time, this time. He took my shapewear, put it on, snapped over his beer gut. And then he tells me he's going cheese wrestling. Oh, wait, here? Wait, What's your husband's, what's, what's the name? What's his wrestling name? His wrestling name? How, it's, I it? don't pay it. Uh, no, I, I want no part of this, Bethy. It's ridiculous. 
I know I'm not a fan. He's a grown man and he's wearing pink Spanx. Is his name Queso Loco? <laughs> Queso is he, Loco? Is that his wrestling? I'm a huge fan. I tattooed my arm. Your husband Wait, is amazing. People know him? People have seen him in my shapewear? Yes, he's famous on TikTok and Insta. And... Wait, my Steve. The, Steve, Steve, like I saw him. There's, oh my gosh, I have to show you these videos. My is, my spouse of 20 years. He is huge right now. Online. Here in Baltimore. Here in Baltimore, he's just become the next, he's the next big thing. He, well, that explains been, it. So like, okay, let me give you a little brief history. First, there was this wrestler. Her name was Brie Goodabottom. She became this huge, she started this weird advertising company. But then she realized that that was going to fail because people kept saying Brie sucks. And then she ended up getting into cheese wrestling. She got big. She teamed up with Queso Loco. And now they're both huge. All right. So we're at the store last week and somebody comes up yelling Queso Loco at him. And I'm like, That's... just obviously some crazy person, like, you know, COVID. We've all been stuck in the house. Nobody knows right. how to talk. And he didn't, he didn't let on at all. So like people are recognizing him they, this as is... a giant. At the giant. At the giant, especially in the cheese section. People go wild. Peg out Amy, cut to uh, his sister's house uh, one week later. You know they call me queso. You know they do. Steve, I never realized this. When you married my sister, I was just like, no way is he ever going to become the next Brie Gudabottom. And now look at you. You've established yourself. Yeah, I, I have to say, I, I, I got to give credit to my to my beer belly uh, and the wonders of Spanx. God only knows how men survive without Spanx. Um, you know, it's holding everything together. I do mean everything. I, 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 could, I could see that. Um, it looks like you have a, a couple of cheese wheels in there. But, no, look. I'm a little out of shape. I'm. I, 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 I won't deny it. But, 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 but in, in the overall picture of uh, physical fitness, uh, uh, you know, it's here's, amazing. Oh my God! Here's the queso coming at you, baby. Here's oh, the man. queso. It's, oh yeah. It's so. <laughs> I honestly, that's like your catch line when you were just remember when you were at WrestleMania 104 and you just said, "Here's the queso." Oh my gosh! There here's so many, the so many queso, memes. baby. Oh yeah, eat my cheese. Tag out, Paul. Cut to WrestleMania. And in this corner, we have Queso Lo Loco weighing in at 160 pounds, ready to get his cheddar on. Oh, Queso boom, Loco, boom, are you ready boom. for today? Oh, I've been chugging beer. I've been eating cheese. Um, and I've been, uh, I've been making love to my wife's sister. Holy shit, I shouldn't have said that on TV. Oh, son of a bitch. <laughs> Holy shit. That just came out. Can I? All right. Sorry, honey. Just kidding. <laughs> you too, Lucy. Cheddar beer diet. Yeah. Oh, you know it. Oh, yeah. Yeah. In love. Cheddar beer and love. Yeah. 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 The big three. You ready? And are, are you ready for the, for the big opponent? It's Queso Blanco. He's, he's going for your crown. He's going for your, ah. your, your heavyweight title. He's just a nasty Caucasian cheese. Ha! Ha! <laughs> I laugh at him. Ha! No one likes white cheese. No one likes brie. Everyone loves queso loco. Yeah. They call you the crazy cheese for a reason. And everybody is ready for you to dominate. Thank you. All right, little lady, you a wrestler? You ever wrestled? You ever wrestled? Well, I got my start in it, no sweat. Oh, excellent. Okay, we can do a little warm up round. I can, I can throw you a little bit of a uh, blue cheese moves. <laughs> oh, oh, you're kind of, you're kind of a little toughy, aren't you? Holy Jesus! Oh my God, you're bobbing and weaving. You like some kind of French, French cheese. You want, you want, you want to stay still. Oh, good God. I know. Well, well, all right. All right. I'm ready. Ready? Top rope. I'm going to, I'm going to 
I'm gonna ball. <laughs> 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 I thought for a brief moment about doing a belly flop, but I just felt that might not be good for my future. 